Okay, folks, we're back. Yes. Oh, Christ. Two old, tired farts here in the shed. You know this you is... You speak for yourself. One old, tired fart and one grumpy old fart. You guess which one's which. Yes. And if you guess wrong, you get the thought short end of the stick. Yep, this is... Woo! Yeah, not, not in a good way either. This is the DGB talk. It could be enjoyable for some reason, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not saying anything, as I might get into trouble. No, well, I'm not again. saying anything, because I get into trouble anyway, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I couldn't care less, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's one of, them, one of them nights in the shed, folks. As in just an announcement, folks, if by any chance any of you call in and wanting wanting a little request song, no, we will not be playing any John Farnham. Yes. I have lost all faith in that man. I do not want to hear about him. I do not want to see him. I don't listen to his music anymore. He made disgusting a, little... Disgusting. He made a big mistake doing what he did with one of his songs. Politics and music do not mix. As, a, as he should have realised with a certain m member of Midnight Oil. Yes, from now on, no, no John Farnham songs will be played on this show. No. Or my Monday night show, The Rock and Roll Express. None of it. And just stick his voice right up his, you know, where. Uh... That being said, who have we got for a showcase tonight? We have an Australian band, In Excess. Now, I didn't mind In Excess until later on in the later in the days when they started getting weird and frumpy. Yes. And Michael Hutchins, and Michael Hutchins, and God rest his soul, went up a little bit. Woohoo! Um, I think that happened when he started shacking up with that Minogue piece. Well, the singing budgie. Yeah, Stanley went and done a David Carradine. Yeah, he also he was also with uh, Bob Geldof's missus. Well, forget Paul Yates. Yeah, well, the one that he used to like sleeping with. There were um, whatever some so, well, yeah, he used to like sleeping with Michael Hutchins and Ashes in a pillow. For God's sake, oh God, we won't get into that. Um, in excess of, as I said, Australian rock band formed by the Ferris Brothers in 1977 in Sydney, New South Wales. Uh, they were acted up right up until 2012. They were also known as the Ferris Brothers. Uh, songs were like Never, Take, Never, Tear, Never Tear Us Apart in 87, Suicide Blonde in 1990, which was written for Carly Minogue. Uh, so the rumours tell me. Yeah. Uh, by my side, needy tonight. That's that one with that strange lizard in the disco. Never could understand that video. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how, they, how the lizard got in. Um, Mystified, new sensation, don't change. Um, As I said, they started in '77. I first uh, heard of them in 1979. Some strange reason, I don't know why. Um, so they brought out many things. You know, they did good times with uh, Jimmy Barnes. Um, there is this thing. Here we go. Being a, former members are Tim Ferris, as we said, he was on lead guitars, keyboards, bass, backing vocals from '77 to 2012. Kirk Pengilly. Uh, rhythm and lead guitar, saxophone, backing and occasional lead vocals, same in the same era. Uh, Gary, Gary, Gary Beers. Gary, Gary Beers. I think somebody got a stutter. Stutter. Mm -hmm. I think his parents must have. Uh, bass, backing vocals, uh, one of the original band members all the way through. Aaron, Andrew Ferris, keyboards, piano, rhythm guitar, harmonica, percussion, backing and occasional lead vocals, same, same, same era. John Ferris, drums, per percussion, keyboards, backing vocals, same at the same time. Michael Hutchinson up until 1997, uh, lead vocals. John Stevens then took over from 2000 to 2003. Didn't mind it, it wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, there's n then from 2005 onwards to 2011, you had JD Fortune, who I'd never heard of in my life. Can't say no and then uh, from 2011 to the end, to the end of the thing, in 2012 was Carrion Ribbon. <sighs> oh, well, well. Uh, touring members, they had Jenny Morris in backing vocals from 85 to 86, Jimmy Barnes lead vocals in 1988, 1998, Terence Trent Darby, for those of you who remember him, 
Uh, lead vocals in 99, Russell Hitchcock, vocals in 99, and Susie DiMaggio, if I got that wrong, sorry, uh, lead vocals in 2000. So, uh, they, did, they had uh, quite a few albums in the day, so uh, tonight we have, uh, from 19, 1980, 7980, some say it's 79, some say it's 80, whatever, uh, Original Sin, and then uh, Just Keep Walking was one of my favourites from the one I first heard of them, and Burn For You. Oh, yeah. So, uh, there you go. And for those who keep asking, in conjunction with what we said earlier, okay? Yeah. Now, I am not going to say which way I am voting on this stupid voice business. No. But it will be no. I'm not saying which one I'm voting for, but I'm going to say no. Then you can get get the hint. It's, um... It's a silly... And, and folks, please don't tickle cross. Just put yes or no. Just put yes or no. If you put the wrong one down, you're going to end up with the yes vote automatically. Yeah, he's got it rigged. It's rigged to go that way. No, we're not being paranoid. No, we're not conspiracy nuts. It is done they're, that they're, way. Listen, they're already... They're already people, they ha you all have a voice in Parliament already. It's called your local member. That's what, that's what they're there for, for God's sake. That's why you voted for them in the first place. Yes. Don't listen to anything this, this loony leftist nutcase Prime Minister is coming out with. He's just like the rest of them around the world. If you, if you follow, the, follow the world news, he's just like them. He's just like Biden. He's just like that nut in, in England. So basically, folks, everybody's got a voice in Parliament. Doesn't matter if you're They're black. They're trying to pull this stuff all over the world. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, brindle, pink with purple polka dots. You've got a voice in Parliament. If you're an Australian citizen and you voted for your locally elected politician... It's your voice. There's your voice in Parliament. Don't need anything more. Don't need anything less. Just leave it alone, Elbo. And if you don't like what we've got to say, this is our personal private opinion. And in no way, shape or form, folks, for those who are going to complain, does this opinion have anything to do with this radio station. It is mine and the Roadie Snake's personal opinion. And yes, we do have Aboriginal ancestry in us and we are against it as, much, as like many other are. Our grandfather was a member of the Stolen Generation. Our great-grandmother oh, well. was the full-blooded Aboriginal from yeah. this area. Yeah, well, like I said, there are like, there's many people that I know of, the, of, of, of colour that don't want it either. Exactly. It's only because they were never asked. It's only your city wannabes that are causing this the riches. controversy. Anyway, let's and get on with the music before we bore them to death. Yes. Okay, here we go, folks. Enjoy. <laughs> 